two, one, two. Welcome back to Music with Ryan. Thanks for joining me today. This week's featured lesson, as you just saw and heard, The Yellow Rose of Texas, a country classic tune. And I took the Roy Rogers version as inspiration and, and the recording that I kind of followed to write the melody line for it. And um, as you saw again, I played it in the Carter style. And I would say this is a advanced beginner arrangement or advanced beginner Carter style arrangement. Um, as it, there is some syncopation, I do some single string, um, you know, some down ups and some single string stuff. So, but yeah, all in all, in the Carter style, I think you'll find it very enjoyable. And I did a, the verse and the chorus, so I did both parts, the whole tune, as you'll see. And if you'd like to purchase the full length version, you just click the link in the box, the first link right there, and that'll take you right over to my website, and you can check out the full length version. This is just a preview here on YouTube, but the full length version comes about 45 minutes of up close video. Um, PDF tabs and three backing tracks to kind of work your speed up a little bit. I think it's like 120, 140, 165. That's what I got this one at for beats per minute. Okay, so check that out. And if you really enjoy the way I teach and approach learning and kind of like my style, so to speak, you can click the second link in the box and that uh, will take you over to the memberships page. And, and um, I have a few different levels, but if you're really interested, I have a uh, for 20 bucks a month, you can access all my video lessons. I got over 200 video lessons and I come out with a new lesson every week. Okay, So if you're really digging it, you can check out that, access everything I've got at the website, kind of in this genre, bluegrass, country, acoustic music. Okay, For now, we're going to go ahead and walk through this lesson a little bit, put the tabs up on the screen and uh, go, over, go through everything really slow. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. Alright, so let's break down the Yellow Rose of Texas here. We got the capo on the second fret. We are in the key of D, sounding the key of D, and uh, playing out of C position, okay? So this is sounding the old D chord. And remember the markings on the bottom of the staff are your pick directions, okay? Staple looking objects are the down, V's are the ups, and then if there's any markings on top of the staff, any numbers that is, uh, they'll be your fingering in the left hand. But um, most of this stuff stays right within the chord. So there won't be too, many, too much of that. So I'm gonna play the first four measures and then break them down here for you. And it starts with a pickup on beat two, that first little line marking on the, in the first measure, just a quarter note rest. And uh, so we have a pickup into a uh, three note pickup into the melody. And uh, yeah, so here we go. It sounds like one. first note to measure five just to kind of complete that phrase. Do that again. One. All right, so in that first measure there, um, we just have a quarter, quarter note walk, uh, kind of a chromatic thing, second fret, third fret, fourth fret. And you can use your pinky there on the fourth fret or you can slide using your third finger. Um, either one is totally fine. You know, or sometimes it's a little cleaner not to, to use a third finger twice in a row. There's less sliding there. You know, it's just a little cleaner if I use my pinky. So those are all quarter notes again, just all down strokes. Two, three, four. And then I'm gonna play my open G. I'm gonna get into my C chord, but I'm gonna play my open G note. 
It's a quarter note, and then there's two eighth notes, followed by another quarter note, and then we got a little double stop hammer on. That double stop, I'm striking the B in the G string, then hammering second fret of the G. Again, it's just a one, two, and three, all on the open G right there in that first full measure, the second measure of the piece. One, two, and three, and then four. Whoop. So sometimes, if you're not used to playing double stops, kind of the trick is to you really got to practice it. I guess that's the trick, but you know you got to focus on getting a nice clean sound on two strings. One note doesn't stand out more than the other. And then I'm going to hammer a second fret of the G, of course. So it's eighth notes. Okay. And I'm going to go on and then I'm going to do another double stop on those same two strings, quarter notes. Down to the D string, second fret, I'm already there. And this is a little strum here, these two eighth notes, kind of indicating I'm strumming on the bottom three, or the high, highest sounding three strings of my guitar. If you get more than that, that's okay. I usually shoot for that. And then back to the D string. That measure by itself, the third measure. Then the chord changes to F, and I ne don't necessarily finger my whole F chord in this case. Sometimes I will, but um, I'm not going to be doing any strumming over the F, so I don't. I'm kind of already in place for this measure. Um, that next measure is. And notice in that measure we have a three with a little tie over to another three that's in parentheses. Okay, so that symbol, that little arc, is a tie. And it means you hold that note for the duration of them combined, okay? So you have two eighth notes, you're kind of holding for the length of a quarter note. So you don't play that note. One and two and down, up, up. that measure in the pick directions. One and two and three, four. So you're tying over beat two. You're not playing anything on beat two. One and two and, and then beat three is a quarter note right where you're at. And then open A string quarter note. And to finish that phrase, measure five, we're going to come back to the third fret. A string and we'll be in our back to our C position. That's that phrase. One and two and three, four, one. So all four of those measures in context a few times, slowly. And three, four, one.
playing I'm playing measure five that's not on the screen there. Alright, so let's move on now to measures five, six, two, one. 